In this video, I'll show you two examples on how to find the focus of a parabola and write its equation. The question reads, find the coordinates of the focus f, focal width represented as l, and write the equation of a parabola that has its vertex at the origin, has a horizontal axis of symmetry, and that passes through the point 5 and negative 6. To write a parabola in standard form that has its axis at the horizontal, we use the template y squared is equal to 4px, where p represents the distance from the vertex to the focus. That being said, we are told that this parabola passes through the point 5 and negative 6. So the first thing that I'll do to construct my equation is substitute these coordinates into x and y. And here's how. Negative 6 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 times p times 5. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and solve for p. Negative 6 to the power of 2 is 36. 4 times 5 is 20 p. Divide both sides by 20. And 36 over 20 reduced, using our calculator, gives us 9 over 5. Now that we have our p, we can find the focal width. And to find the focal width, we use the formula L is equal to the absolute of 4 times p. 4 times p, which is 9 over 5, gives us 36 over 5. So we found our focal width. And just to keep in mind that the focal width is a distance from this part of the parabola to this part of the parabola. And that happens to be 4 times the distance to the focus. The coordinates of the focus is simply your p-value at 0. So our p is 9 over 5 at 0. So this is our focus f. This is our focal width. And our p-value is 9 over 5. Now all I have to do is rewrite my equation with p. So I have y squared is equal to 4 times 9 over 5, and that's equal to 36 over 5 times x. Now some teachers may not want you to have fractions. And to convert this fraction into an integer, we can multiply the whole equation by 5. If I multiply this whole equation by 5, I end up with 5y to the power of 2 is equal to 36x. And to convert this into general form, we can bring this term over where we end up with 5y to the power of 2 minus 36x is equal to 0. So this right here is in general form. And what we had originally was in standard form. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2, we have a parabola has its vertex at the origin and passes through the point 3 and 2 and negative 3 and 2. Write its equation and find the focus. Now they don't tell us whether its axis is vertical or horizontal. To find that out, you need to use a little bit of logic. So we're told that it passes through 3 and positive 2 and negative 3 and 2. Parabolas are symmetrical. So if it has a vertical axis, as shown here, then it's going to have the same y twice. The y coordinate for this point is 2 and the y coordinate for this point is 2. Therefore, we can deduce that it looks like this. Let's do the same thing as we did before and substitute one of these points into the standard equation of a parabola. We end up with, and we'll use the first point, 3 and 2. 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 times p times 2. Now let's solve for p. This part is equal to 9, and the right side is equal to 8, 8p. Eight Divide both sides by 8, we end up with 9 over 8 is equal to p. They're not asking for the focal width here, so let's not mention that as part of our solution. The next thing that we need is the focus. And the focus here will be this point. Our p-value will be the y-coordinate, and 0 will be our x-coordinate. So this is our focus. Finally, all we have to do is write all of this information into our equation x squared is equal to 4 times 9 over 8 y. Multiplying 4 times 9 over 8, 4 times 9 is 36. 
36 divided by 8 gives us 9 over 2. If we don't want any fractions, we can multiply this whole thing by 2. Look what happens. We end up with 2x squared is equal to 9y. Bringing that over gives us 2x squared minus 9y is equal to 0. And there you have it. Two examples on how to find the focus of a parabola and write its equation.